Hey, welcome back to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to create the game Stack Colors in Unity. For this lesson, we're going to be creating a point system for our game and a way to display the player score. Now, before we get started, remember to check out the previous videos in this series if you haven't already. All right, so first things first, we're gonna create the user interface for displaying the player score. Now, you'll first need to have a UI canvas. You can create this by clicking on the plus sign, going down to UI, and then selecting canvas, after which all you'll need to display the player score is a text object. So you can right click on your canvas object, go down to UI and select text. Now I've renamed my text object to score display. For this text object, I've set the anchor points to the top right corner of our canvas. I've then set the pivot to one in the X and one in the Y. This will put the pivot point in the top right corner of our text object, after which we can put the X and Y positions at negative 10, and then have a width of 160 and a height of 50. For the text component, I have the value of zero for the text. I then have a right and top alignment, and I've set best fit to be true with a max size of 50. The text color is white, and I've added an outline component to this object. You can add this component by clicking on Add Component, and then searching Outline. For the outline component, I've set the effect distance to 2 in the X and 2 in the Y. This will just make our text object stand out a little bit better. Now once you have your UI created, we need to create a game controller script. So in our scripts folder, you can right click, go to create, select C sharp script, and I've named this script to be game controller stack color. Once you have this script created, we'll open it up in our coding environment. Now the first thing that we'll do inside the script is add the using unity engine.ui namespace after which we need to create some new variables. The first variable will be for a singleton of the script. So this is a public static variable of type game controller stack color, and I've called it instance. We then need a serialized field of type text, and this will be our score display. And the final variable that we need is of type int, and this is called score. You can then go ahead and remove your start and update function, and we'll add in an on enable function. This is a special function like the start function, but this function will actually execute any time the object that this script is attached to is enabled. Is first check to see if our instance variable is equal to null. So I have if instance equals null. If it does equal null, then we want to set our instance variable equal to this. This is a keyword referring to the actual current instance of this script. So that will initialize our instance variable. Now the next thing that we need to do is create a public function for updating our score and score display variables. So this is a public void function called update score. And we have one parameter of type int called value in. Inside this function, we are adding to our score variable. So we have score plus equals value in. And on the next line of code, we're updating the display. So we have score display dot text equals score dot two string. Once you have this script created, we can then save it and we'll go over to our player controller script. In our player controller script, there's just one line of code that we need to add, and that is inside our onTriggerEnter function and inside the if other dot tag equals pickup if statement. For this line of code, we need to get the singleton of our game controller script and send the value of the current pickup object to the update score function. So we have game controller dot stack color dot instance dot update function and we're passing in other transform dot get component and we're looking for the pickup stack color script then after the parentheses we have dot value. Once you've added this line of code we can save the script and we'll go back to Unity. Inside Unity we want to select our canvas game object and then we'll attach our game controller script to this object. So you can click and drag the game controller script onto the inspector. You'll then need to set the score display variable so just select your text object and drag it into that variable. I'll then go ahead and test my project. And now when I add to my stack, you can see our score display increment. 
All right, that's everything that we're gonna cover in this lesson. Our game's coming along quite nicely, so stay strong and go on to the next lesson.